Hey, what's up everybody? It's Ken here and in today's show we're going to talk about exactly how to launch a coaching business in less than two weeks. Listen, the economies have changed forever. The coaching business is growing like crazy. It's time for you to get started right after this. So the big question is this, how is a tiny percentage of entrepreneurs blow the pack away? What are they doing that we're not? I asked myself that question for 10 years. I was failing forward and getting sick of it. I wanted to build a coaching business, but couldn't make any headway. So I started studying. I realized that the world's most elite marketers, entrepreneurs, and gurus were all using the same four step system. I call it the authority factor. On the show, I'm going to prove to you that the authority factor worked for them and it'll work for you. My name is Ken Dunn. Let's get started. It's Ken here and I am uh, going to hang out here with you guys for a little bit. I want to talk to you um, really quickly about online courses, about how to actually make them work. Um, as many of you guys know, I have a small group coaching program. If you don't know it, it's called Accelerate. And in the Accelerate group, um, and if you want to know how to get into the Accelerate group, if you want to join me, um, twice a week live on Zoom to build your online course. Um, all you have to do is just say me in the comments below or just tag me below and I'll get you the information. But meet with our Accelerate group um, twice a week, basically. And we are in fast forward right now. We've got about 12 people that are like rapid fire building their online courses. And I want to talk to you about what probably one of the biggest challenges people come across when they're building an online course. Um, and I really want to encourage you to do it. Look, before I get into that, let me just talk about why now. We are coming out of one of the craziest times of our lives with this freaking pandemic, right? Um, most of the world has been locked down for over two years. And thankfully, because of the vaccine, vaccines, and, and I'm not getting into a vaccine debate with anybody, whether it's good or bad. I'm just saying, look at the numbers. Look at what's really happening. Look at the difference between a year and a half ago before the vaccines and now, you can see that it's doing something. Will it cause problems in the long term? Are there going to be side effects? I don't know. I just know that if we didn't have them, we'd be in a bad, bad place right now. Anyway, because of that, it it woke the world up in, in so many different ways, right? Um, not even talking about the education space, the help economy. If we take a look at anything online, major companies like Amazon and e-commerce companies have been trying to move consumer confidence to shopping online for years. And Amazon obviously was the biggest company, so they're the biggest winner in the change. But now 80% of the world's population shops online and is comfortable. Surveys done by several different survey companies. The one that comes to mind um, was Consumer Affairs in the United States did a survey of a million um, middle Americans, they called them. So like middle income level Americans. And, and the question was asked after the pandemic is over, will you go back to shopping offline? And 87% of them said 90% of their shopping, they'll continue to do online. So what did that do? It forced people to try something new and quickly they realized how much easier it made life and it became a permanent behavior. Well, let me tell you about another space that that's happened in, and most people don't realize it. I believe a whole new economy has been born. It's called the help economy, and it's how people learn. Why does YouTube have more engagement than Facebook today? It's really simple. YouTube is now the biggest education platform in the world. Before the pandemic, Education was universities and colleges and continuing education and night school and morning school and live environments. But the pandemic shut all that stuff down and forced the consumers to try new ways to learn. Bring on the coach, right? Bring on the online coaching businesses. And that's what the biggest recipients of it were. My personal business income has quadrupled in the last four months. I'm making four times more money every month right now than I was before the pandemic. And I've talked to dozens of people, like we're talking big leaguers, Blake Neubauer, uh, Anthony Morrison, Russell Brunson. I've asked them personally what's happened to their businesses since the pandemic. And they all say the same things four times, five times, six times more revenue. Why? It's because 
believe it or not, whatever good or bad that you say about like the world we live in, people in the world, one thing has, is, is just absolutely true and has been proven again because of this pandemic. Human beings have an insatiable desire to learn, to grow, to improve, to change. And the way that people did that before was by enrolling in continuing education programs or university programs or adult school programs. But with all of that gone, those people will now looking for the same answers in Google searches. They were looking for the same answers in YouTube searches and in watching social media, they were more open to it. So when somebody was running a Facebook ad and the Facebook ad said, click on this link and come to this training and learn how to repair your relationship. Well, all the people who would normally go sit in a counselor's office, they clicked on the link. My friends, Tammy and Barry Gibson, uh, have been trying to scale their coaching business for years. Uh, they have an amazing business. Um, and it's called, uh, I got it. I just want to get it right. I wanted, there's a webinar I want to send you to. I think it's over50golf.com. Let me just see. That's the book. Actually, check out their book. They just launched a book that's freaking amazing. Over50golf.com. www.over50golf.com. I believe that's what it is. Let me just see here. www.over50golf.com. Yep, that's it. Uh, they're giving away the book right now. It's unbelievable. Go to www.over50golf.com. I'll put it in the show's notes too. I'll put it below so you guys can see it. Um, let me just actually type it there right now so you got it. So what their business is, is they teach people how to, in their, in their midlife, right, 50 and above, they teach people how to play better golf, but also have a healthier and more sustained life. And, and if we take a look at the timeline, they've been trying to build their business for four or five years. Um, then the pandemic came along. Um, then they built an online course. Now their business is growing like crazy. Ruth Fabree. Ruth used to own a one of those small women's boutique fitness centers, Curves, I think it was. Um, Ruth, forgive me if you hear this episode and, and um, it wasn't Curves, it was something else, but you get the point. Anyway. She'd been trying for years to launch her coaching business and she'd like invested tons and tons of money in it to get on stages, to do all kinds of things, but revenue just wasn't coming. And the pandemic came along and just as it did, about five months before it started, we met. I helped them to build an online course and get it off the ground. Now they are making tens of thousands of dollars a month. Why? It's because the consumer's confidence changed. You see, before the pandemic, people that were looking to learn in every discipline, losing weight, fixing relationships, whatever it is, they were skeptical about the Facebook ads they saw. They were skeptical about the webinars they saw. They were skeptical about all these things. But when the way they normally learn disappeared because of the pandemic, their skepticism had to prevail or had to to make way for their freaking deep, deep desire to, to make more money, to fix the problem, to learn. And friends, the result is a coaching industry that's called the help economy. And you're in it. I mean, you've already, everything I've told you, you already knew, you already heard these. It was probably good for me to remind you of how important timing is, but the timing is now. That's the whole point to everything I've been telling you so far is there are more coaches jumping into the coaching industry right now than ever. And thank God for it, because there's even more people that need help than ever before. There, there just is not enough education online to, to fit the demand. There are literally, this, this, is, this is one of the things that People who are just getting into coaching that don't have any experience in digital marketing, this is their biggest challenge. And I'll, I'll explain it to you because this might be you. 
you've got this idea to launch a business, a coaching business of some sort. You're thinking about what it is. Maybe it's in the fitness space. Maybe it's in the personal development space. Maybe it's in the gardening space. And, and have you ever noticed that the minute you start thinking of it, you're on Facebook or Instagram, and every time you turn around, you see another sponsored post about somebody who is promoting their training on that exact thing that you were thinking of launching a business. And when you see it, because you don't know any better, it frustrates the hell out of you and it gets you so sad that you never start. You're like, oh, I'm too late. Somebody's already doing it. It's not going to work. The challenge in that situation is your naivety. You're naive. If you think that because you see one or two other people doing something exactly like you want to do, if you think that that makes a difference, if you think that's the reason you shouldn't start, friends, you're sadly mistaken. Perhaps it's good that you don't start because, because you just don't, maybe you just don't have what it takes, frankly speaking. Because the fact of the matter is, when I see somebody who's, who's promoting the exact same thing that I'm doing, I, I say, thank God, let me check out what he's doing. And I sign up for their webinars and I go to their webinars and I start studying them because perhaps maybe I'll just learn a new strategy. I even buy other people's courses. There are people that have courses that sell exactly what I do and I buy them. Why? So that I can go through the funnel and learn what they're doing and I can copy it because I've learned the hard way that there will never be enough courses in the world. There will never be enough online courses. There will never be enough online coaches to meet the demand, the new demand. Because just like the e-commerce space and that survey that Consumer Affairs did, 70% of people have now moved from traditional learning modalities like schools and night schools and consulting into this new world of learning from the comfort of their home and getting the help that they need. And that's where we are today. That's where we are today. And so friends, my advice to you is do something about it. Do something about it. Get in the game. Get your online course built. Write a book. My favorite, my favorite lessons of all to teach are the ones that a lot of you guys have already seen. Um, and I will, to the day I die, promote writing a book first. Not necessarily publishing it first, but writing it first because it helps you get so clear on your thoughts. And I've helped over a thousand people to write books in less than five hours. Many of you guys have done that and you know how clear that makes your information. But whatever you do, just do it. Get in the game. Get your course built. In my 30-day course builder program that so many of you guys are in, um, inside of the members area on Facebook, the Facebook group, go to the guide section. And I built an online course back in March. Uh, Nick Boothman, I built his professional speaker secrets online program for him. And in less than 30 days, we built the online course. We shot all the videos. We built the funnel. We launched the landing page and Nick made $18,000. What's really great is if you're trying to build an online course, all you have to do is get into that guide section every single morning or whenever it's good for you, but once a day, watch the video of the day and do the thing. Even if you got to take two or three days to do what I did in that video before you come back, watch the next video, it's like your private guide to launching your course successfully and making tons and tons of money. So do yourselves a favor, friends. Don't miss this opportunity because this too shall pass. There has never been a better moment in the world than right now with the technology we have, with the reach we can get to go out there and impact people. And an online course is the fastest way in the world to do it. It's really one of the only automated, truly automated businesses in the world. And everything you need to do is right inside of that members area, right in that guide section. And if, if you're not in that members area, if you're listening to this show on YouTube or on the podcast or wherever you're listening to it, um, check out the link in the bio. Check out the link in the notes. Come check out the Book Factory presentation. I'll show you exactly how to write a book in less than five hours from the comfort of your home and then turn that into an online course and 14 days later, have your whole coaching business launched. It's all laid out for you. 
And there's never been a more important time to do it than right now. So get to it. Don't get left behind. It's Ken Dunn here. Glad uh, you guys listened to this. We'll see you later. Hey friends, it's Ken Dunn here. I really hope you enjoyed the show today. Hey, listen, if you've ever thought about starting a coaching business, if you've got this information in your mind that you want to share with other people and you know you can start a business with that, but you don't know how to get started, I want to invite you to come to um, my live online presentation. There's a basic simple system that I will teach you that I will show you exactly how to get all the information out of your mind and position the information so that people want to consume it, whether it's a book or an online course. Actually, in, in our 60 to 90 minutes together, I'll show you how to write your own book. I'll show you how to build an online course, write the book in less than five hours, build the online course, launch it and sell it in less than seven days. The link is in the bio. Um, check it out. It'll change your life forever.